Welcome back to Tech Ambrosia. Today, I'm announcing the Cheap PC Challenge for 2023. Last year's challenge was a rousing success, but after talking with several builders and prospective builders, I've made some changes to this year's requirements. Hopefully, making it easier and more fun for everyone to participate. All set? Bottoms up. cut right to the chase. First off, the budget has not changed, although what it applies to has. Once again, the budget for the challenge this year is 100 US dollars, and you have to complete your build and post about it by the end of the year, December 31st, 2023. Now, if you're outside of the US, you'll need to apply an exchange rate to each of your purchases, and since this challenge extends for a much longer time period than last year, I'm going to ask you to record the exchange rate price at the time of each purchase of each part. Hopefully this won't be too much trouble since there are a lot fewer parts you're going to need to keep track of this time around. That's right, what counts towards your budget has changed. So included in the budget for this year's challenge is CPU, GPU, motherboard, and RAM. And that's it, really. Everything else Case, power supply, primary storage, cables, optical drives, pull it from your personal collection, find it on the street, buy it new at retail prices. It doesn't matter for your build's budget. That was probably the number one piece of feedback I received on last year's challenge. So this year, it's just CPU, GPU, motherboard, and RAM. That's it. So if you're as excited to get started on your build as I am, let's go over the requirements to officially enter a build into the challenge, and thus make it into the wrap-up video and points competition in January. First, and most essentially, when you post your build on social media, be that YouTube, Twitter, Mastodon, Cohost, Fur Affinity, include the hashtag CheapPCChallenge2023. That way, I, at the end of the year, I can find your build and give you an official score. Next, your build needs to complete three challenges for points. The CPU benchmark this year is Passmark Performance Test, version 9, not the latest version. I have a link to download version 9 in the description. Once you've got it installed, go to the CPU section and run the benchmark there. Points awarded are the benchmark score divided by 100. And like last year, there's still a browser-based real-world use test, although, unlike last year, instead of asking you to open a large Google Doc, you'll instead need to install a somewhat modern browser and run the old version of the Octane JavaScript benchmark. Again, link is in the description for that benchmark. For Octane, your points awarded are the benchmark score divided by 1000. Finally, the GPU test has been upgraded to DirectX 10. This was actually pretty difficult to dig up as there aren't a whole lot of DirectX 10 benchmarks out there still downloadable in 2023 that will run and don't start with the words 3D mark. So what is this mystery benchmark? The Lost Planet DX10 benchmark from Capcom. Run the benchmark at default settings. It should run at 1280 by 720 32-bit color. Your points are awarded equal to your average frames per second in the cave section of the benchmark. Finally, like last year, the most important challenge. Showcase the most ridiculous thing you can make your cheap PC do. Run an AI language model on it. Load it up with virtual machines. See how many operating systems you can install on it at once. Make it serve a website on the internet. Sky's the limit. So for everyone who moaned about having to buy a heatsink for last year's challenge, this one's for you. Again, just CPU, GPU, RAM, and motherboard, all under 100 US dollars total. I'm expecting a more powerful range of builds this year since there's a lot less price pressure on the core performance components. However, prices have also risen over the last six months, so who knows, maybe it'll be a wash. Either way, I'm looking forward to seeing the completed builds over the next seven months. Make sure to get your poster video completed and published by December 31st, 2023. You've got seven months. Let's see what you can build. Have a great night, and may the PC parts be ever in your favor.